Okay, let's talk about this. I use a few different tools for work and I'm probably not what you would call a normal user or a proto user or whatever. Oh shit. But I do spend a lot of time researching, collecting links and trying to figure stuff out like code and stuff and stuff for projects and all those things. Two of the tools I use for this mostly are craft and hook. Now I've talked about hook a little bit on the channel and I've even done a video or two on craft, but I haven't really talked about the two together. And I had a few people in the craft slack space ask me if uh, I would explain how I'm using the two apps. This is probably isn't going to be like everything that I do. Um, I try to just do what like I go with the flow and do things how I do them. But I've identified like three really simple ways that I use craft and hook pretty much on a daily basis. So let's get to it. I'm on no fix up. Fix up. I'm gonna buy no pick up. No, no. That I ate those they live for. Get it up. Talking on my back, go figure. Yeah. Whole team eats for stay up. So the first is simple, and it's hooking to a new craft document. Now, Hook has this ability to hook to like a new text document or a new note, uh, which is good if you're like me and you spend time in meetings or you know you have research projects that you want to tackle. I can go to the existing object, hook it, and then hook that directly to a new craft document. And it's all in one process. It's just hit command shift space to activate hook, click on the little menu option, hook to new craft, and now there's a new craft document that's already hooked to the other item. That's kind of it, pretty easy. Second one is probably what I would expect most folks to do with craft and hook, and that's collecting a bunch of different hook items and then showing that list in craft. Uh, like I said, when I'm doing research, I'm not necessarily thinking about, you know, when I'm in the hunt, it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna hook this. 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 And by hooking the items to each other, I now have a list of items that I can show that are all wrapped around a single project. So whenever I start a project, I can just open up that hook reference, the largest one, uh, make sure it's the largest one, otherwise you won't get everything. And then I just say, copy all links, and then I can paste them into craft and it'll give me kind of a quick list of all the resources that I've been looking at. Definitely like the common use and something that I would recommend if you're just getting started with hook and craft together. So the third one, the third one's more of a flex on hook side about how it allows you to gain access to other applications, files, and all of those things within your file system. Now, Craft has the ability to store and hold documents and hold images and all of those things. Sometimes you want that. You want one place for everything. But other times, it's not the best idea to have everything in one place. And sometimes you need them in other places. So for me, I use Hook to create shortcuts to file objects. Now the cool thing with this is hook actually travels with the file. So instead of just copying the file path in mark, like regular markdown and pointing to a file somewhere, that doesn't necessarily work if I move the file. But in, if I copy the hook link to that file, then it does. So in many ways, it's like the linking that craft does to other craft documents, but for all of your files and websites and all of these other things. So that's kind of the third way that I do it. I personally think that this one is the most important because it allows craft to integrate into your system, in my opinion, a little bit better. Um, obviously that's just it, my opinion. Come up with your own. Let me know how you're using craft and hook together. Uh, let me know what, different techniques, or maybe you're using Hook with some other tools like Rome Research or Obsidian and those tools. And yeah, I don't really talk about those on the, this channel because I don't use them. So 
yeah, so if you have uh, other questions about how I accomplish things or do research or make presentations or whatever, check out the videos on the channel. Be sure to subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. And if you want to ask me a question, you can do so on Twitter. Uh, I'm pretty much everywhere. You can find me at KJY Miller, but I'm going to leave the discovery up to you. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for chatting. That's it.